it's a sad day for all us Rafa fans out there because he pulled out of Indian Wells and he's being hated on so much on social media. People are calling him this money hungry guy who went to Vegas to play the Netflix slam and cash in on all the millions and he never had the intention to play Indian Wells. And that makes absolutely no sense because why did he get there so early? Remember my Monday morning rant from a couple of weeks ago where I shared that picture in the plane of Djokovic and Nadal. He's been in the United States for a while, training, getting ready. And at the Netflix slam, while I didn't analyze this serve in detail, it did look a little bit different and the serve kept getting worse as the match progressed, especially in that second set, his first serve percentage dipped to 40%, which is not normal for Nadal. And then a few days later, somebody on Twitter shared a video of Nadal hitting serves at Indian Wells and he wasn't using his body at all. And somebody had mentioned that Ferrer said there's some type of back injury that he's dealing with. And at that moment right there, I knew that he was gonna pull out of Indian Wells. Now the weird thing about Nadal is while he is a player who can play through a tremendous amount of pain, there's so many examples of him playing injured, for example, against Fritz and Wimbledon. I don't know how he won that match. He was in a tremendous amount of pain. Or matches in finals, for example, Australian Open against Vavrinka, where he was injured, but continued to play the match injured. And countless other examples. So Nadal is a guy who can play through a tremendous amount of pain. But at the same time, he's also a player who's very cautious about coming back from injury too early. He also might be cautious about re-injuring himself. What I'm thinking is the following. Rafa is being extremely careful because he really intends to do well on clay. There are so many important tournaments coming up. There's Monte Carlo, Barcelona, Madrid, Rome, the French Open. I do think that he's going to play Wimbledon as well. And of course, the Olympics on clay. I don't think that Nadal is going to play the hardcourt season in the United States after Wimbledon. So my biggest wish for Nadal is that he gets to play the clay court season and possibly Wimbledon without injuring himself. I'm setting the expectations super low. I don't think that he can be out for this long, come back and start cleaning up on clay like he used to. I think there is a possibility, and you can call me crazy, that if he's feeling good, if he's healthy, and he plays maybe three out of the four tournaments prior to the French Open that he is going to be dangerous at the French and then especially at the Olympics that are going to be happening on clay. So when he finally hangs it up and when it's official that he's retired, I'm going to make a full-length video explaining why I'm a Rafa fan, how I became a Rafa fan because some of you guys are confused that I like Rafa. I'm the only one that likes Rafa from the people that are closest to me. Uh, they seem to be more Roger Federer fans.